now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I want you to understand from the beginning that I am not really so dumb. I know that a girl should do and what she shouldn't do. I get around, I read, I listen to music, especially popping one, and I have two older sisters. So you see, I know what is going. I know it's smart to wear fiber skirts, a stylish crop top with a short sleeves, and blue sneakers that looks as if they have seen the world. Moreover, I have my idol, Su Bin Hoang Sum. I also go to his concert to let my hair down in conjunction. But I am kind of energetic people, as well as dreamer. I usually imagine my future with my beloved, and I will be a beautiful princess, combining with who play as handsome prince. This isn't what I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to give you the general idea of how I'm not so dumb. It's important that you understand that. And today, I will tell you my story about one vivid memory in my life that I haven't forgot anymore. He is a sweet man, bringing warmth and tolerance to anyone he meet. Furthermore, he is not only the chairman of students' association at my school. But also handsome from the depth of his eyes to the gentle expressions of his voice when standing on the platform and presenting his speech. I guess he must get used to that. The sudden pause in the person's natural expression when I looks his way followed by overcompensating with a nonchalant gaze and a weak smile. Of course, the blush that accompanied it is a dead giveaway. It doesn't help that he's so modest with it. It makes the girls fall for him all the more. He uses a snazzy motto to go to school instead of a traditional one, and he knows that his style effect on other people alongside creates a newly trending movement. So he always keeps himself dated with swank ones. I don't think I can reach him until one day. See, it was how I met him. It was a spring morning like any other spring morning, and I didn't have my American and British literature done. But the way the sun tinsled the twigs and silver, planted the cloud, I just couldn't stay inside. The park isn't far from our house. You can make it in five minutes if the sidewalks ain't slippery. So I went walking with my pet. It was also lovely. I walked most of the way, and it was so lucky the sidewalks had ashes on them, or I would have slipped surely. Once in, I felt my belonging place. It's a quiet place where you can see the whole view, and people can't reach here. A wind blows, and my hairband goes with it. And then he came. He took my hairband and gave it back. And then he smiled beautifully. That's all there was to it. Just that, and then we were walking. It wasn't that I've never walked with a boy before. Don't be silly. I told you before. I get around, but this was different. He was a smoothie. He was a bit shut off at school. He goes to all the big academic conventions, and he is a gigantic partner for students following. Who didn't count because he'd been to high school in Ho Chi Minh City for two years. Don't you see? This was different. I can't remember what he talked about at first. I can't remember if we talked at all. We just walked and walked and laughed every time we come by that food and entertaining stall. And pretty soon we were laughing all the time at nothing at all. It was also lovely. 
Then he sat up straight and said, "We'd better start home. Not sure I'd take you home or do you live far, but we'd better start home." See, that's how I know he wanted to take me home, not because he had to, but because he wanted. All of a sudden, his hand was in my hand so warm and tight. He said very casually, "Your hand is so warm and cozy." It was also lovely, but also a collection of happiness in my heart. He talked sharply, as if every little word were a secret. Time to say goodbye now. Can we have one more time together like this? Don't worry, my girl. I'll call you. Looking forward to receiving your call. Bye, my lovely girl. I stand there then, and in a moment he was gone. I watched him so far from me. He was whistling softly, and I waited until the sound faded away. And that was last Thursday. This morning is Tuesday. The telephone is sitting on a table with this old black face opposite to me, so I can see it's dear. I don't even jump when it rings anymore. My heart still prays, but my mind just laughs. The morning is still, so still I think I go crazy. Here's a mist that appears for a little time and then vanished. You told me that. You would call me that gave me hope and also made me upset. Everything has become empty, and so I'm sitting here. I'm not feeling anything. I'm not even sad because all of a sudden I know I can sit here now forever and laugh and laugh and laugh while the tears run salty in the corner of my mouth. For all of a sudden I know I know what the sun knew all the time. You are never cool, never.